美国两大轻奢品牌，因为设计概念以及目标群众都很类似，难免会互相比较，成为竞争激烈的对手。但今年八月 ，Coach 的母公司 Tapestry 集团宣布砸下八十五亿美元，收购旗下包括 Michael Kors、Jimmy c h o o Versace 等品牌的 Carry 控股，两个竞争对手瞬间变成共同作战的好朋友。The state of M&A in fashion, it really is what it's adding to that specific company. They're investing in future growth rates. And being able to see that you can capitalize on what a brand is. And enhance your own stature can create for a win-win scenario. 并购案让 Tapestry 成为美国最大的时尚集团，市值将超过一百四十七亿美元。野心勃勃要成为美国版的 LVMH。专家分析，这系列的并购其实是时尚圈的丛林生存法则。The growth-oriented acquisitions really help to drive the business further. For example, go from apparel and enter cosmetics. New designers can create. Interest because you can extend your customer base, whether it's extending your customer base older or younger, or extending your customer base globally. A lot of brands and luxury brands, for the most part, are up significantly, 50% plus versus 2019 in the pandemic. But the growth rate on a year-over-year -year basis is definitely moderating. 尽管民众感受不到品牌并购之后的差异，但在通膨未降温、利息仍然高涨的时代，对于精品消费，民众更加精打细算。多元化的品牌家族经营模式，互相获取资源，更有利于在时尚圈站稳脚步。The other big question for luxury is: Is the growth era, the golden era for luxury, over? What's the new steady state for luxury? If China is dropping out of the luxury market and they were the future, are you looking at a luxury industry that is no longer 10 to 15 percent growth, but maybe 5 to 6 percent growth? If that's the case, then we need fewer companies. 尤其以往这些轻奢品牌被认为大量仰赖中国大陆市场，现在中国大陆经济放缓也怕跟着走下坡，因此美国时尚集团决定大撒币，展开集团并购，让老牌欧洲精品成为家族成员，巩固奢侈品牌的产业版图。Europe has been known as the heritage of luxury, where the manufacturing is done, where there's a lot of creativity. However, you do have some of the American brands like Ralph Lauren have a much wider footprint and is able to capture consumers of all different income levels. The macroeconomic pressures of inflation and interest rates is having a disproportionate impact on the budget consumers. The more moderate to lower income consumer essentials is top of mind. They want to spend. When there's value and when there's a deal. 不难看出 ，Tapestry 希望透过 Jimmy Choo 跟 Versace 吸引金字塔顶端的客群，借由 Michael Kors 巩固年轻族群，接收名人光环。The other driver of M&A in the luxury space is you might call it star power or celebrity power, and that is because celebrities now drive luxury sales. As a result, these small brands that have existed and thrived for years by just having A boutique now needs stores and marketing around the world. Fiercely independent brands are looking at a future where they have to, at some point, merge with the bigger ones. 目前，精品行业仍然是欧洲集团主导，就连七月份开云集团也大手一挥，收购 Valentino 的三成股份。这次 Tapestry 并购案准备集中资源，扩张美国精品品牌的影响力，还有市场份额。在奢侈品牌销售下滑的时代，靠家族品牌互相拉抬声势，期待无敌反弹。TVB 新闻综合报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。